right about it. Like top position, bottom position. Anytime the person stands up over you, it, it takes it completely away, right? So if I have the foot lock, actually, yeah, let's say I start from standing. Well, I'm going to stand right this way, right? Well, yeah, he stands all the way up. We end up here. Occasionally, too, you'll have trouble doing this particular sweep if the person on top turns his knee inward a little bit. Yeah, if he does this. When he turns the knee in, it kind of counters what I want to do, which is turn his knee open and sort of bow his leg open. So defensively, this is actually pretty smart. He turns his knee in, kind of cuts a sharp angle, and takes away that, that twist. So what I'm going to do in that case, since I'm still on my back, I still have to do something with this position. I don't want to just like give up and let him mount me, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inside leg and I'm going to slide it to his far knee, okay? And I'm using my toes here to hook under the knee. All right, go one. Now the foot that's on the hip, very quickly, I'm going to circle it under and hook his far hip, okay? So my toes are flexed back on both legs, one and two. My knees are open here. And if you guys don't know, this is called the X guard position, right? So from the X guard, I have a really strong ability to off balance my partner. And it's one of those positions that almost no matter what he does, there's always a way to take him over with a sweep, okay? But we're not going to go into all 100 options to sweep the person over from here. The most simple, and probably the highest percentage from this particular transition, is to go to the X guard, one, and then all I do is I slide this foot down to his heel. And I use my top foot to kick him backwards. Okay? And then as soon as he falls onto his back, same deal. I end up going right back to the foot lock, finishing and arching. Right? So one more time. If I'm up here, I grab my stick. He gets up, right? Good base. I try that first kind of corkscrew sweep, doesn't happen. So now I'm going to open my hook and insert my top hook. So the reason I open this one first is so there's space, right? If I don't open this one enough and his knees are pinched together or something, then I might have trouble getting this foot in. So I open, I kind of keep his legs spread, and then I hook, okay? But make sure when you hook, especially with this one, the tendency is to bring the knee inside and do this. Try to keep the knee outside and just bring the foot across. So your leg will literally make an X, okay? And now from here, I'm just sliding down to the ankle, kicking him backwards onto his butt. All right. And a second option from here that's very, very effective, very useful, is if I can reach his far foot with my hand and grab it, that's probably the easiest way to take him over from the X guard. So sometimes if I can't reach, like right now I can't reach, maybe I'll just use the hook. Or what I could do is kind of like kick him away and then pull him back in with my hooks and feed the foot to my hand. You guys see that? So it's a little too far away, so I kind of like kick I extend and then I contract my legs and I literally pick this foot up off the ground and grab it. And then once I have this, I just bridge with both legs. Big bridge, get back to my foot lock position, fall to my side. Okay? Anytime we go for these foot locks after we knock the person down, we could also just get up and go back to passing the guard. It's always an option. But it's nice if you already have a good bite on the foot, it's nice to keep attacking the same uh, ankle lock. It's tough to get a good bite. You want to try one? Oh. He wraps either ankle here. Boom. I managed to come up with him. He tries the corkscrew sweep. My base is too good. My knee's pointed in. So he's going to open one hook. This one comes around, hooks under my hip. And the first sweep, he's pretty much just sliding his ankle down to mine and kicking me backwards onto my butt. But if for some reason he can't do that, he's going to kick away, pull in, grab my ankle. And now, obviously, I can't step out on this side. I can't step out on this side. He just has to bridge his hips up, and there's nothing I can do to stop him. And then from here, he can either get up and pass the guard, or he can sit right back to the foot lock. Same thing as before. Any questions? Good? All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, three, go. Thanks, guys.